Was the meal to your satisfaction, Divine One? Oh, yes. It was delicious. Thanks so much. Could you look me in the eyes, please? Uh, sure. Perfect. Keep on looking right at me. You have such an intense gaze. Tell me what you're feeling in this moment. Hmm. Nothing much, really. <sighs> have I stirred your heart so little? Let me ask you again. I'll whisper in your ear this time. Has your lunch with me today brought you any feelings of contentment? Oh, very much so. I knew it. Oh, I'm so glad. Tell me more about these feelings. Well, I'm so content I couldn't eat another bite. I'd be really curious to learn your recipe. <sighs> My recipe. Not exactly what I had in mind, but if that's really what you want, I'll teach you. <laughs> Gold Mary, are you okay? Oh, Divine One. Did the sound of my soul in anguish finally get your attention? I'm so glad. What's wrong? Talk to me. I'm here to help. It's just that... I can't possibly be any more charming. Uh... what? Everyone always says I'm the most popular woman in the world. But if you're immune to my charms, I know that can't be true. My confidence is shattered. So here I stand. <laughs> My tears flowing freely like two rivers of glittering diamonds. Uh, look, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings somehow. I really didn't mean to. No, please don't apologize. Only tell me what I can do to earn your affection. You don't need to do anything special. I already think you're quite charming. You do? <laughs> You think I'm charming? Of course. And it's not just me, you know. Everyone loves you. So don't feel like you have to push yourself so hard over this, okay? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just so relieved. Thank you. As a token of my appreciation, you may admire my perfect tears a while longer. Um, okay. Thanks. Divine One, I must apologize for what happened last time we spoke. I was so overcome with joy, I actually made you stay with me until I was finished crying. That's all right. I'm just glad to see you feeling better. After it was over, I realized it would make more sense if you knew about my childhood. Oh, what about it? Everyone always fawned over me when I was young. So much so, in fact, it was all I knew. But in Illusia, when you reach a certain age, you have to leave home for the Academy. For the first time, I had competitors. Others were more popular than me. I was devastated. I came to understand that some people can simply be better. I began to question everything. That must have been difficult. Since then, I've become a bit of a perfectionist. Being anything less than ideal is frustrating. But then, you said you thought I was charming. And I stand by that. Somehow you always manage to be charming. Even on the battlefield. Thank you. As soon as you said those words, I felt my confidence come flooding back. Is this good crying? Can't you tell by how these tears glisten on my cheeks like the morning dew? I'm sorry, Divine One. I have such powerful feelings. It would be a crime to contain myself. You'll just have to admire this magnificence. 
to your heart's content. I'll remain by your side until you're finished. Thanks for meeting with me, Divine One. I took the liberty of setting a table for you. This is incredible. You made all this for me? I did. The presentation is rather plain by my usual standards, I have to admit. You might wonder why I'd go so far out of my way to prepare such an unremarkable dish. But this one has a special place in my heart. So in that sense, making it for you is an expression of my truest self. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I'm so glad, Divine One. If I may, there is something I'd like to say to you. What is it? Before, I might have hidden this by insisting you must have feelings for me, but that's beneath me now. Thanks to you, I'm confident enough to say how I feel. I'm falling in love with you. More and more each day. You are? Please tell me you feel the same. Please tell me you think I'd make a perfect partner for you? Perfect. <laughs> Ever the perfectionist. Even now. I have to say, it's endearing. Forgive me if I'm a little speechless, Gold Mary. Your confession took me by surprise. But I couldn't imagine a more perfect partner than you. So, I want you to have this. The Pact Ring? I feel like I'm dreaming. You're not. Try it on. Ah, uh, look! A perfect fit. And just the right match for these elegant hands. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Sweet of you to say. Now, shall we sit down and eat? Wouldn't want it to get cold. Great idea. Let's. Uh, I feel like I owe the people of the world an apology. No one else gets to be this happy. Actually, let's toast to that. Glasses up. Here's to us, the envy of the world. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. <laughs>